My soul is full of trouble, and my life draws near to death. Today's good word comes from Psalm 88. And good might be a surprising adjective to use because this is a song of complaint. If there was ever a sad psalm, it's this one. Listen to the suffering of the singer as he describes him, his own state. My soul is full of trouble. My life draws near to death. I have so little strength that people count me as already dead, as a lost cause, as just one more statistic, as a hopeless case. And the ones that I counted as friends, they experience me as horrible now. When I die, no one will mourn. I will not get a gravestone. I will be dead and forgotten. And the thought of this, I'm, I'm blinded by tears of pain and frustration. This is a bleak account from an inconsolable heart. Yet many times we read Psalms and they have this theme of sorrow in the beginning, but then by the end of it, they're joyfully declaring God's faithfulness. And let's look at this Psalm. Let's look at the last verse of this one. Let's see what it says. Verse 18, you have caused my friend and my beloved to shun me. My companions have become darkness. So this Psalm begins and ends in grief. My friends, even my beloved has abandoned me. Darkness is my only friend. Wow. I pray that you do not have to experience this. But the reality is that, that people do experience this kind of grief. And the God of the universe has put a song of grief like this in his word as an encouragement. He sees you. He cares for you. And maybe your life isn't as, as bad as this song. I hope it's not. Maybe you have other friends besides darkness. But still, know that if you have a troubled soul, that God cares for you. One of the reasons he includes these songs of sorrow is because he wants you to bring your troubled soul to him. Just like verse 2 says, he cries out before God. Evil, sorrow, and suffering is transformed to good when it drives us into prayer and relationship with God. Blessings on you.